I call this a jam jar vinaigrette because we start with a jam jar. For all the high fancy talk about vinaigrettes, essentially all you want to do is a three to one ratio of vinegar to oil. So what I have is two ounces of apple cider vinegar, six ounces of sunflower oil. The beautiful part about this is that it's a natural flavor, neutral, so you're really gonna get the nuances of all the other herbs and everything you put in there. I put about a tablespoon of maple syrup. You can use honey, you can use agave. Um, you can do less than a tablespoon or more depending on your tastes or the, the acidity of the vinegar that you're using. Um, you, so the nice part about that is you can actually change it out with your preferences and, and flavor profiles that you like. Mustard is an emulsifier. What that means is that when you shake up your vinaigrette, it's gonna mix it up and it's going to stabilize. The oil and the vinegar will be a little more harmonious when you're eating a salad, for example. So with that, I'm going to just do a little bit of, with this, I have some oregano. And again, this is dry oregano. If you're happy to have fresh, that's great. I like using dry ingredients in this because sometimes I take this, I make it, I shake it up, I put it away, I'll use it throughout the week, for example. So I'm just gonna crush in a little bit of our beautiful fresh oregano from last summer. A little bit of nettle. For a little acidity and kind of flavor profile and a cool little color contrast, I'm gonna put a little rose hip in there. On the directions for this, it says a quarter teaspoon of dried uh, herbs and a quarter teaspoon of dried spice. Um, again, you can mix that up and match with your flavors, with your likes and dislikes. Um, sometimes a little bit of, the one thing you have to remember is that dried spices will actually, will bloom over time. So it might taste like this today, but tomorrow it might be a little more overpowering. I am gonna put a little Labrador tea in there and I'm actually going to just take this. So I'm gonna just chop it up a little bit. So again, fingers in, fingertips in. The one thing to remember is that when you're chopping and slicing, technique first, speed comes with time. So don't try to be rapid fire with your knife, work on safety first and speed will come later. Okay. So there you go. What I like to do at home is actually I'll have my daughter measure this out. She's 10, so think about, so, you know, you wanna try and integrate this into your family. It's a, great, uh, it's a great exercise to have your child. You can put ingredients out, a little teaspoon. They're measuring things. Can't mess it up too bad. And then the best part is a little bit of extra energy. You just cap that jam jar. You just shake it up. All right, so now we've got a nice, wonderful little vinaigrette ready to use. We're gonna set this aside.